Hello everyone. So let's solve this question. This question came in today's uh, weekly contest 433. So the question is sum of variable length sub arrays. You are given an integer array nums of size n for each index i where 0 less than or equal to i less than n. Define a sub array num of start i to i where start equal to max of 0 and i minus nums of i. Okay. And return the total sum of all elements from the subarray defined for each index in the array. The subarray, okay. So if you see this example, we have what we have to do is we have to define a subarray, let's say from the start to i, where the start uh, should satisfy uh, like sh start should be the max of 0 and i minus nums of i. Here you can see this nums of i is equal to 2 these are the sub array and we these are the sum and we have to we have to return the total sum if we see this example okay if we see this example uh, what is start is our start is equal to max of 0 comma i minus nums of i okay so this is so let's say i is equal to 0 that time what will we get start is max of 0 comma 0 minus nums of i is 2 so which is the which is equal to 0 so we'll get 0 so i is 0 and start is 0 so from start to i right so only 0 so that's a very value will be 2 because a nums of 0 is 2 now next is if i is equal to 1 that time what will be our start start is uh, i is 1 and nums of i is 3 so it will be uh, here you can see huh? here it will be again start 0 so from 0 to 1 so this is 0 this is 0 and 1 so the sum is 5 now if my i is 2 and start is equal to 0 comma max of 0 comma i is 2 2 minus nums of i is 1 so 0 comma 1 is 1 so from 1 to 2 like this 2 the sum is 4 and the total sum we, which we will get is what 2 plus 5 plus 4 which is 11 so this total sum which we have to return so this start we can find okay let's say we are going to use a simple loop to do this uh, and uh, this i as we are using the loop we will get this i and we can find the start so we will get this i and 0 but the first brute force approach will be you will write one more function where you will pass these two indices that is start and end and it will return the sum so let's start and also we, we are going to see the optimized one okay after this brute force solution so let's see uh, the i int i is equal to 0 i less than let's say nums dot int n is equal to nums dot length and i plus plus okay and our we will calculate start int start it will be what mat dot max of 0 comma i minus nums of i it is given it is given in the question okay here in the question only it is given so now we have our start what is our end end is our i so we will uh, we will use one variable as in answer is equal to 0 and this answer answer plus equal to get sum where we will pass two numbers one is start and one is end end is what i okay and it will return a uh, return us a sum between this of that sub array basically and we will return that answer so let's write that function get sum okay int get sum where int start index comma int end index where int sum is equal to 0 for int i is equal to start index i less than or equal to int index i plus plus and we will calculate the sum and we also have to pass the uh, um, array right how we will calculate without array 
nums of i and at the end we'll return this sum and here you will pass the nums okay so if i run this you can say accept it we are going to see the another approach also this is the first thing okay so here what you did is used a, a sum okay sum uh, method okay you have written one sum method which will calculate this sum but the thing is here why we are calculating the sum again and again okay so from 0 0 to 1 we know this sum from 1 to 2 we know this sum so similarly uh, like we instead of this can we can we calculate okay here you can see 1 to 2 what is the sum is 2 and from 1 1 to 3 is the sum is 4 so from 1 to 2 we have we are calculating again the repeated sum why can't we just add 3 in this sum right so for that we are going to use the prefix concept here is first we will calculate the prefix array let's say i'll take prefix prefix array is equal to new int what will be the size size will be n okay i'll take after this here okay and we don't uh, now we don't want this get sum i will just remove this okay now here what we are going to do we know the start okay in prefix sum what we will calculate is here first we will calculate for int i equal to 0 i less than for int i is equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus okay these are two different approaches uh, which i am telling is prefix of i is equal to prefix of i minus 1 plus current nums of i okay the, now we have calculated our calculated our prefix array and our prefix of prefix of 0 will be what nums of 0 okay so here if you see this example okay 3 1 1 and 2 what will be our prefix array 3 4 5 and 7 okay so this will be our prefix array and if i want the sum from uh, 1 to 3 that is this sum i want from this to this then it will be what 7 minus this 3 then i will get 4 so this is the sum basically this current that is uh, end minus start minus 1 okay so here what we will do is prefix of end end is what i minus prefix of start minus 1 start minus 1 so to like uh, avoid the uh, what index out of bound exception we will write here i equal to 1 okay now here instead of i equal to 1 we can do one more thing because again we have to calculate for this also if you want okay so here what we will do if my if my start equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 I can say directly 0 else this calculate this okay because as I am saying for this sum I am subtracting this 7 minus this 3 but for this I uh, for this thing I will subtract 5 minus what 5 minus nothing 0 right so that is why I am writing this 0 if I run this okay again we are getting actually that okay you can say accept it and let's submit this is the easy uh, so okay easy level question so you can solve this in two ways in the first in the first approach where we were not using the extra space for uh, like here we are using for array right but there we were calculating the sum uh, repetitively but the constraints are like uh, like you can see thousand till thousand only the size is hundred only so that was also acceptable solution and this is also the acceptable solution so thank you so much for watching this video if you feel this video is helpful to you please like this video and subscribe my channel stay updated